We're all about medical takeaway. As you know on this show, but we do have a story that's almost too hard to believe. Pics of a 45-year-old Chinese man recently went viral in the news after he got himself into an extremely sticky situation in the middle of the night. All he wanted was to use his eardrops to relieve an itch that was bothering him. He couldn't sleep, but he grabbed the super glue instead. Oh, God. And filled his ear with super glue. Not good. We have nasal drops, we have eye drops, we have ear drops, and if you happen to have glue, don't keep the glue near On your bedside drops. table. How about people doing it for their pets by mistake? What? The good news is, with this gentleman, he did find they elected to just leave it and let the skin right. sort of grow slough and, and, like and slough on, on itself. If you had tried to pick Ooh, it off, ow. it would have taken the skin off and potentially the Ooh. ear canal. Really, really good takeaway, Drew, for people, because if you super glue something that you shouldn't, it doesn't necessarily mean let's get it out of there as quickly as possible because you do more damage wow. in that way. Um, and I would say this of any potentially toxic type substance, just keep it away from things you're putting on yourself. I once, right. once put hydrogen peroxide in my eyes. Ooh. Um, I, was at, I was at a friend's house and my eyes were bothering me. I just reached in and my eyes, I was having trouble seeing and it was in, you know, basically what I thought was just saline, squirted into my Ooh. contacts and it was as searing a pain as I've ever, it was crazy and I was worried for quite some time what was gonna happen to my vision. But the point is, those things shouldn't be no, no. in the medicine cabinet. So, ah, that's one to grow on.